All right, guys. Well, welcome. Today's Tuesday again. Welcome back to this uh, study that we're doing on Jesus' masculinity, the leadership that he taught us, and um, and how to become the leaders, you know, of our life. And uh, today's Tuesday. Today is. Uh, I'm here in Florida. You know, we're expecting a major hurricane today, but it doesn't matter. You know, as long your mental health and your spirit like is connected to God, you can trust God. Everything is gonna be alright. You know, like all these things, materialistic things, they don't matter, right? They don't matter. Um, that's why many people out there right now they're suffering. They're wor worried about like what if it's gonna happen, this and that. I mean, like. You know, like as long as you're not losing yourself, I'm not as long as you're not losing your soul, that's why it matters. That's what really matters. You know, like we human beings, we're meant to build. We can obtain this again. It's gonna take some time, so of course, but we can, we can have it again. Like we're meant to work. We're meant to. We have the strength to work. Okay, so it don't even matter. You know, I'm here on my car, and uh, yeah, we're gonna talk about the masculinity masculinity of Jesus Christ. So that way, you can apply to your life. And, uh, man, uh, you know, people think that Jesus, he's just, he was just a, a figure. But honestly, for me, it's like the most, the most respected guy, the most, the man that have that unbreakable mindset. What we're talking about right now is the unbreakable mindset. Why? Because there is so many people. There is men out there that they're soft. They can break for anything. And um, when you know your purpose, when you know your calling, there is no way that you can that you can break. Okay. So you know, like the ma the 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 masculinity and the traits of Jesus was like um, he 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 focused on the strength and also humility at the same time. You know. I I struggle a lot with uh, when it comes to humble myself because my ego, my pride, which is you know like that's just a weapon of the devil that's trying to use you, use it against God. So that way the people can't understand the truth. So that way people they don't run to God. That was me before when I didn't have when I didn't know about God and I was always neglecting the truth. And I was like, nah, I got this. I got this on my own. I'm the man. I'm, I'm the provider. I'm the one who can figure it out everything. You know, all this weight on my shoulder. It was too much. There was at one point there was too much, man. And it was making me crazy. I was like, and then, but on my mindset, I was like, nah, that's, that's what it is to be a man, right? And it is, you know, take charge. But a certain, there is some battles that you can't win. There is something that... You have to leave everything to God because it's out of your control. It's out of your your uh, force, okay? So, uh, true masculinity is not just about, you know, the power, but also it's just about the purpose, the purpose that you have for other people. We all servants. Here in this planet, we all serve other people. Like Jesus, when he came, he served us because... Like, like a clear example was when um, he washed his disciple feet. Even though some disciples, he knew that, that one of the disciples, it was going to betray him. And he still did it, you know. And that's what it is, you know. You have to, if you want to become a leader, you really have to love people. Because you don't, you can't lead people if you don't love them. So, like maybe you're watching this video and if you're a father figure, you know that you love your family, you love your son, your daughter, and you want to lead them to the right path. And how can you do it? Operating from purpose, creating the best version of yourself. You as a man, making that unbreakable mindset. And how can you do it? Doing things that it's hard. That's how you're going to gain the most uh, strength. Restricting yourself from the pleasure. And uh, when you start operating from all this pleasure that is in this world, it's going to make you weak. And that's what the devil wants. He wants that quick pleasure for you because he knows when you have that purpose in you, when you discover the purpose that you have on this earth, you can become someone stronger, dangerous, uh, with so much wisdom. And that's why so many people, they don't even work on themselves. They see that work, work on themselves is like... Uh, 
oh man like i don't need to do that you know like as long like i'm making money this and that but money is gonna make you destroy yourself if you don't have the right mindset take out everything that you have right now and let's see how you react right that's why so many people right now they're reacting to all these things when we're not even like they don't we don't even have the control you know like i'm saying i'm telling you this is a spiritual battle that is going on you know and uh yeah leadership is about putting other first and uh lift them up you know for me it's you guys you guys um I, I already make the commitment of helping you guys as a man, as a young man, that I'm, I'm coming to this world to be prepared for what's coming out there. Maybe you didn't have that father figure like me, you know. I didn't have it, so it make me it make me go to a, go and take another route. I went to you know the alcohol, the parties, creating a new identity for myself. In my head, I thought I was someone that that you know they, they knew it all as uh, someone that, that the pride was too too big the ego you know like nobody can tell me nothing nothing not even god honestly it was not true and uh to be honest with you um if you're watching this video you're meant to do more in this life and uh, the way that you can do it is like god's gonna prepare you you know God's gonna prepare you for the path that he have for you. I'm just here to help you and raise your levels of consciousness because maybe you're brainwashed by people that tell you, hey, you can, you have to do this. But let me tell you one thing, your job, your career is not gonna define you. That's not, that's not you. That's something that you pick, of course, in your own will, but you have a purpose. There is a verse in the Bible that says that many are called but few, uh, uh, are chosen why because there's not many that they can answer that call you know but God's knocking at your door he's knocking at your door every single morning every day that you don't do the things that you're supposed to do like that regret that's that um you know every time that you go to the bar every time that you go to uh have a hookup with that woman you know that it doesn't feel right you know deep down when your soul is telling you that's not right you feel emptiness you feel like nothing is working everything is against you why because god is putting something to wake you up to tell you son you have a purpose that's not the path i'm just giving you warnings listen to me i'm giving you warnings because i know I know that that path is going to lead you to destruction. The devil come to destroy and to steal what God has for you. God has the plans for you. And uh, what best to not trust God? It's like, man, like, he's the, he's the owner. He's the one who created this. He can make, he can, tomorrow, like, he, if he doesn't want to, he can just take that breath away from you and that's it and you're done you know just put that in perspective and i know what you're going through maybe you don't have that clear vision maybe you don't you can hear god maybe you're loud you need more uh wisdom you need more friends around you that's gonna lift you up that and uh, but let me tell you one thing if god put you there is because for a reason god is gonna help you God is gonna uh give you the plan but you gotta trust him every single day in the morning seek him you know one of the biggest thing that Jesus did it was pray in the morning he prior prioritized prayer because he wanted he need to connect with the father you need to connect with God so that way he can tell you why you're meant to be what was your purpose you know and uh, that's the best thing ever, you know. Don't let the devil distract you from the real truth, the real purpose. And, and like I said, you know, Jesus, he one of the be he's one of the best leaders ever because 
he didn't break his own word he operated from purpose myself i'm operating from purpose so i can help you to become the best version of yourself to drop all the vices to drop all the bad habits to create someone that you can never imagine so that way you can be prepared uh for for what's coming because i already overcome those those struggles the overthinking you know like the look at myself in the mirror and thinking like i'm not enough um the 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 alcohol the drugs the woman i live in miami do you know how much know how much distraction there are right here but you know what keep me stronger the power and my purpose I know who I am. I know what I uh, I'm uh, I'm have to accomplish, and there's someone out there looking at me, you know. So I can't let him down. I can't let you down, and uh, we're here to help, you know. We're here. We're here to create create the best version of ourselves, so that way God can use us because we are instruments. Let me ask you one thing: like, who are you serving? Are you serving serving the devil? Or are you serving God? put that in perspective so i hope this video can help you to lift you up and to give you hope and to raise your uh, levels of consciousness so that way you can be aware of what's going on this is a, a bottle okay so if you need more help and details let me know dm me on my instagram nico lifestyle fit or just go to uh this the free zoom that i have so that way i can exp that i explain to you how i did it how I went from, you know, alcohol, sir, discipline, uh, not having confidence on myself, from uh, from that to become who I am today, to become the man that I admire, I respect in every way possible. And I'm just giving it to the world. I'm giving it to you guys, all right? So that's it for now. Tomorrow we have another video coming. Let's go.